Shorty, a little baddie. Shorty, my little boo thing. And Shorty got a fatty. Shorty be catching moves, swing. <laughs> Alright, what's up, guys? Um, Basically, we're going to be using this um, full waifu team. Wait, can I call Kid Merlin a waifu? FBI, please do not open up. Um, but yeah, we've been using this full-on waifu team. Um, <laughs> I feel so weird saying that, but yeah. Um, we got Green Small Deanne, who, look, we already know, man. She's a baddie. She's, she's, she's bod. She's bod. Mmm, looking scrumptious. Looking scrumptious, as always. We got Eva Lilia. You already know, looking all good. You know, already looking good. Mmm, looking like a baddie. Uh, me, yeah, me. Um, we got Kid Merlin. Who cares? And we also got this, you know, ram in the back. Basically going to increase my unknown character's base stats by 20%. Oh, no. I like this Tux outfit. Got the outfit. Got the headphones. I, I really like that. I really like the fit. Um, this is going to be a very, very weird team. Um, basically, what is going to be the premise of this team is Evil Lily is going to be using her passive just for, you know, taking away Gage. Um, also, her passive is going to be um, giving up that debuff, which can pretty much wander down Goddess Elizabeth's shield, which is going to be plush for me because, you know, Goddess Elizabeth... Like, God of a bit throws with shield on Merlin, which stops Merlin from hitting her with the infect. And when Evil Lilia, I'll be able to instantly hit him with the infect, even if they try to throw up a shield. And Green Small DN is going to be taking um, the one asking her ultimates and also attacks because of the PvP rule, which basically allows, you know, 30% dominant and 40% um, less dominant. So the one asking her will pretty much not be able to kill out Green DN unless he's 6 out of 6. And you also have this PvP rule, which basically means if, you know, if you get hit with an ultimate, you get 50% more of your HP back if you survive. So if you somehow survive the one that's going to ult, green small DM will be almost immortal. All right. So we got Ludocio, the one that's going to ignore, and uh, a Leprechaun. So we're definitely about to get clapped right now because I'm pretty sure the dude going to pretty much gun for me. Hopefully he doesn't kill off my evil Lilia for the most part. I don't know how my evil Lilia is LCC in his Ludocio. It's kind of a shame right now. I feel kind of sad. I, can, I feel really bad that he he's gonna out CC by by my evil Lilia in in the end. That's pretty. That's a pretty bad. Oh my god, he's going all in on me. Now there's a lot of things I can do right here, which usually focus on me pretty much just taunting up because he does have blue, two blue units. So all I have to do really right now is to attack his um his Merlin just to lower her attack related stats, of course. The one that's going to get clapped pretty easily. So we're just going to do this though. Because one power strike should just finish his Eskimer off. And I'm hoping that he does not have Goddess Lizard in the back. That would be actually toxic. But yeah, he might just spam his AoE right here. And I get another power strike card. So I have to see what he's going to do with Eskinor. He gets another Infect card. So you know, he's toxic. Double Infect card. He's really trying to spam those AoEs. All right. Yeah, that's not gonna work, my guy. Which is why I'm doing that. Um, there's a lot of things I can do right here. I can allow him to spam his AOE again, or just get rid of Eskner right here. So we're gonna do that, and then hit his Merlin. So that should be two people that's gonna be done for right here. Pow! Oh my God, he still survived that. Wait, can you get it? Yes. And now Merlin is gone too. So the instant forfeit. Man's Ludosio is trash. What was wrong with that man's Ludosia? How, how did only Merlin get out CC? Dude, Ludosia is kind of trash right now. Oh my god. If he, if my, if I, if I have Evil Lily out CC in you, that's pretty bad. Oh my god. That's terrible. Literally, Evil Lilia. Yeah, GG, my dude. I feel bad for Ludosia, but it's all right. All right, got the one Eskinor team. Oh my god. This team never dies, does it? Never dies. I feel like I should be using a Void Food on my team because I have all these moments where I get out CC'd. And I feel like if I just use a Void Food, like, it, it wouldn't even matter to me anymore. Because let's be honest, he's not going to break through Deanne unless, you know, he stuns me somehow. He debuffs. He's probably going to throw up his shield right here. Which is why I'm using Evil Lilia. <laughs> they pretty much tr troll this guy. Because that means to break down shield right there. So we can instantly cause an Infect. This is a pretty funny meme team, actually. So we're going to go after this Eskinor right here. Um, debuff. Hopefully this, this doesn't one-shot him. Because I want to instantly force revive on him. So we do that. Hopefully don't one-shot. Don't one-shot. 
Oh, uh, yeah. 89. Not bad. Not bad. 89 is not bad. If it would have crit, it would be a lot better, though. Um, I don't know what he's going to do right here. Hmm. Okay. 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 Is he going to go for his ultimate? Yeah, he is going for his ultimate. He really pushed for his ultimate right there. Wow. Um, good thing I am using Evil Lilia, so... All I have to do right now is push my Evil Lilia ultimate, and we pray on this, guys. We pray on all on this. Yeah, you won't be able to get through Deanne. I love this PP rule. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to probably just lower his HP a bit and just do this. Because let's be honest, this is the only thing we can do right now. And we do that. Boom, pow. Kachow. The gauge is gone. He still got the infect on him for now. Hopefully, he doesn't have a goddess of his shield because he does gain HP back. If he if I ult and I don't kill him off, that's the sucky thing about this PP rule. That's why I'm really trying to be careful, like ulting. I'm really trying to be careful. And he's stunning me a lot too. That sucks. Um, can I go for my Merlin ultimate? I feel like it'd be the best option right now. Cause do I still got a ton on me? I think I do. Yeah, I do. So I feel like I should just push for my Merlin's ultimate. Is he 6 out of 6? If he's 6 out of 6, you can probably one-shot me right here. Oh, he's like 3 out of 6. All right. So I, this is going to be a risky play. But we're going to do it for the, for the memes, guys. For the memes. All right. Boom. We got that off. Now, remember what I said. Um, Okay, he does that. He finally ults. It's, still, it's not going to do that much damage, right? Let's pray. Yeah, it doesn't do that much damage. Deanne is such a tank. I remember getting HP back from it. So unless he stuns me again, I'm pretty sure I'm good. He stuns me again, actually. <laughs> this guy is toxic. <laughs> uh, he forfeits because he, he couldn't break through Deanne. <laughs> the man saw he couldn't break through Deanne. He started forfeiting. That's GG. All right. So we got this Valenti team. What a toxic fellow. I, man, I, I think I should use a Void Food, honestly. I be like I'm really telling myself to use a void food because I feel like in so many situations oh he gave me emo for respect. I love this guy now. If you clap me, my guy, I will put you in the video. If you clap me, Cause just cause, just because you gave me the emo for respect, of course. He <laughs> he, I like it. I like it. I like this guy. Throw his shield. That's what they always do. He does that on my DN, so now I can't taunt. Cause if he knows about taunt, I'm gonna go crazy on him. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna infect him right now. And we're gonna probably just push on his Valenti. Uh for the most part. Yeah. Valenti is the biggest threat right now. I feel like he has no other DPS. The only bad thing is Valenti can get crit on. Especially using crit resist. Well, I can still do high amounts of damage though. Oh yeah, it's perfect. So if I get some more power strike cards, that'd be beautiful. Delicioso. Power strike card? Yeah, we got one. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to debuff me with um, Merlin again right now. Oh, he might potentially go for a stun card. Did he go for a stun? Oh, he's going for a gold shield. Okay, he's toxic. And he stuns my Merlin. Oh, my God. No. Merlin. Merlin. That's toxic, my guy. Oh, my God. He actually stuns my Merlin. Ah, Can I get rid of his Valenti, though? Uh, I got to at least get rid of his Valenti then. Just for him doing that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, come on, come on, Deanne. If you if you kill off Valenti right here, I will love you forever. Beautiful. All right, so he has his ultimate, but remember, the PP rule. If he ults me and I still survive, I'll get my HP back. And he has the one S on the back. Ew, 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 ew. Disgusting. Well, Deanne counters the one S on right here. So let's see if he's going to actually ult me. Because he might potentially just do, like, pretty much go for his godless bit, reflect. What all the players do, especially since he debuffed me. Oh my god. Yeah, he really trying to save up for his ultimate. And he goes for a gold shield. You love to see it. You love to see it. And he stuns Deanne. Oh my god. This you love to see it. You love to see it, guys. I wonder if you're gonna go. <sighs> what what can I do right here? I, I guess I I guess I'll just use cards up. Let me move that. Cause he's going what he what else he gonna do like if he ults me he's gonna heal me back up so i can pretty much stall if i really want to he's gonna stun me again 
Oh my god, he is. This is gonna be a long match, guys. So about the, you know, you know, um, the local weather, right? If he thinks he's gonna do anything with that goddess a bit, um, reflect he he's out of his mind right now. Cause once I get my ultimate off with um Evil Lilia, I remove his reflect. So he's gonna have to ult me right here, anyways. So give me my HP. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about using that reflect. Give me my HP back. He's got he has to ult with has he has to ult with Gother, or he loses reflect. He literally has to ult with Gother, or he loses reflect. Unless Eskinor kills me off. All right. All right. So let's see what he's going to do. Okay. He does ult. So I get my HP back. He, I guess he figured out that, yeah, I would remove the deflect. Okay. He does that to my Merlin. How beautiful. And now I finally have my taunt up. God bless you. God bless you, my guy. You finally allowed me to attack. So let's see how long he can get that reflect staying up. Because the one Eskorn can't finish me off. He literally can't. So I'm assuming he's going to get more and more rank ups happening right now. He does ult me. Ew. Well, as long as he doesn't... As long as he just loses his um, shield. I should be pretty much good. Because Evil Lily going to keep reducing it. Um. Uh, yeah. I'm just move cards because I'm gonna get my HP back either way because I am using life steal um, on my Merlin. All I have to do is just stall it out because I'll go back to full HP either way. Yeah, this is a pretty difficult match for me. Oh my God, this guy. All right, at least it's going to be the one for the making. He can't get through the end right now with the one Asknor. He is trying to push for a shield, but I will get my HP back. Yeah, nice try. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. That's cute. And I, I can pretty much just go for his li his Liz for the most part right here. Just because he was doing all that stalling in the beginning. So we're just going to get rid of Liz for now. Remember what I said? He can't get through my um, DN right now. So pow. Got my HP back. And should finish her off. Whew, he did all that st stunning. Jeez, my dude. And now I'm almost to full HP. Yeah, GG, my dude. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. Oh, that's gold stun cards. Oh, my God. That stuff was annoying to deal with. I literally had to think, my guy. Shout out to you. I literally had to think super hard about that one. Because you're the one Eskimo is not going to get through my DN. Literally not. <laughs> um, I mean, you could try. But unless you're like 6 out of 6, you're not. Are you 6 out of 6, my guy? Are you 6 out of 6? Uh, yeah, you're not 6 out of 6. So, yeah, you're definitely not getting through DN right here. I hope he knows. I hope he knows he's not. But we're just going to move cards then. Right here. I'm telling you. The last person who tried to ult my DN, they, they, they couldn't break through it. But that's going to That's why I'm just doing this. Because I'm going to get my HP back and then just leave his green go through. If I get rid of the one that's going to, I'll just skip to the next match. So, let's see what he's going to do. He does know he's not breaking through that shield or taunt. I hope he knows. I hope he knows. Yep. Told you. Got my HP back again. Yeah, GG, my dude. Fun match, though. I really enjoyed your stall. So I'll just skip to the next match. Because Eskinor is gone right here. Yep. Pow. Now I got how much HP dark we have back? 69? Oh my god. I freaking love life still. It's actually toxic. That's why I'd be talking about like using a void food. This dude actually stalled me out that long. Yep, GG. And we got DM with the winning animation. Ooh, looking sexy. Alright, Ludosio, Merlin, and the one Eskinor. How cringy. 296 KCC. Okay, this this guy is a professional Ludosio player. Man's got maximum Ludosio in him. This team is very toxic, actually. Is he full on HP? He might be full on HP. Um, he does that. Good stuff. All right, all right, all right. Lilia. Oh my gosh, she just death instantly. 
Yeah, that, that was just instant death. She couldn't do anything but die right there. I guess what I can do right now is just throw up my DN shield, I guess. I mean, I mean, it's either that or I just rush my ultimate on, on this guy. He has gold card. Oh my God. You have to be kidding me. This man has literally a gold card. Uh, let's do this. Let's stun her. Let's stun her for the memes, guys. Oh my God. HP is so big. Yeah, let's get rid of that one gold card. I don't trust it. I don't trust it, boys. So this time, I'm probably going to push for my Merlin's ultimate right here. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish his Merlin off, though. But I don't know. I don't know. Ludocio on Merlin's look is disgusting. Especially when you got another Power Strike card. Um, so this is what I'm going to have to do right here is attack. Um, attack right here and then attack again. So let's see how that goes. Okay, pow. We hit him with that. Boom, pow. Let's go. HP is under 20%. And now that's gone. And I'm pretty sure this man has like what Merlin in the back now. Not Merlin, uh, Goddess Elizabeth. So it's gonna be all blues versus my little old Merlin. So that's gonna be instant one shot. Because remember the PvP rule is 30% more damage. So unless he has a shield right here, this is going to hurt a lot. This man almost had me. He literally almost had me. Too bad he was going so aggressive on my Lilia. If you just thought out Lilia, he could he could have just won. <laughs> That's the sad thing about all this. Um, does go for that. But I'm just going to lower his HP enough. And then do this. And then that. Because Goddess Elizabeth is going to be the one who's going to revive. I just attacked anybody right there. It doesn't really matter who, who's going to get hit. Because Goddess Elizabeth is going to be the only one that revives right here. And I guess I can leave... Oh, the one Escort. <laughs> well, the one Escort now. Jeez. I was hoping the Goddess Elizabeth would be the one that survives, but... Alright. The one Escort can't really one-shot me. Unless he's 6 out of 6. Which, I'm pretty sure he is, right? Yep. And good thing he only did lit. <laughs> he only did that one. So, that's actually fire for me. Because I can just stun him right here and just play around with him. I literally can just play around with him if I really want to. So we're just going to do that. And this. And that's going to be game. GG, my dude. Fun match, my guy. That was actually pretty lit. I guess it's going to be the last match just because that one match was just so stally. I'm sorry, guys. That match was too stally. I don't know if I should even keep that in. Well, we definitely keeping this in. You get the DNMO for respect. But you got clapped, my dude. Jesus. That's kind of tough. Use 296k CC too. Yeah. GG, my dude. I guess I'll leave that as the last match. Just because <laughs> that one match was so much brain thought right there that I had to keep it, you know. He gave me the emote. He gave me the DNMO for respect. So, you know, we had to keep that last one. Even though how toxic he was with all those rank ups. And he just kept stunning me over and over and over. I know that was probably cringy to see but again hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um i don't know how i was able to use this up this team uh, with evil lilia like evil lilia had her usage like in some matches but you know it's hard to use evil lilia i really enjoy our passive though like being able to break down goddess of the shield pretty easy and allow me to pretty much infect my opponent while also having green deanne for the one escort and also liz which is very very clutch for me i think i should ran like avoid food that would probably save me a lot of matches. Especially since I was getting gold stunned in that one match. That would have saved me so much, so much trouble. Or I could have been able to like ult rush. Man. Oh my god. That one match was crazy. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Because I was using the waifus, guys. Waifus. Except for Merlin. We respect, we respect kids around here. It's a kid-friendly channel. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You know, like, subscribe, comment, all that down below. This is really guys, and I'm out. Peace.